All right, so this is going to be a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and as well Cancer Rising, a weekly relationship and love uh, reading for uh, December 30th to January 5th, uh, 2020. And uh, bear with me a couple of uh, seconds here, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, in case uh, you want to get in touch with me or just, uh, you know, you want to have a, a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below of this video. And there you're going to find a link to my website where you can do both of these things. So that being said, um, moving into the sprite, now the first card, which is uh, representing the topic and the theme of your uh, love and relationship week here, Cancer, is going to be the Five of Cups accompanied with the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic. We do have uh, the uh, Sun card, then it is uh, the challenges that you need to overcome here. That is to be the King of Wands followed by the fourth card which represents uh, the gifts and the blessings that uh, you get to enjoy throughout the week we do have the eight of cups then the fifth card it is how other people sees you how your friends and family sees you how your person of interest or your partner sees you that is to be the um, six of swords the sixth card here represents what can help your long-term goal and we do have the Nine of Cups in that position. The seventh position, it is what can hurt your long-term love and relationship goal. That is to be the Star card. And the last one here, which is the guidance that Tarot is offering to you, we do have the Nine of Wands. All right, so uh, the very first couple of cards here are pointing it is that this week is going to be a week where peace is to be settled. What I mean, it is that, um, how can I describe it? Well, I will start from the energies. Now, the energies, uh, love and relationship-wise, are going to be exhilarating and kind of growing energies. But also, <clears throat> those energies are going to help whatever situation you're finding yourself at in regards to your love and relationship wife, uh, life. Excuse me to uh, how can I say it to settle and sort itself in a very natural and uh, um, logical if you will fashion that being said many worries that you are having that that surrounds your love life and your relationship life are likely to drop off due to their resolution for throughout the week and therefore you are to ease your nerves and your worrisome as well behavior or standpoint if you will now additionally to that with the sun card as we do have it as an energies here it kind of uh, looks like that you are to be pushed more into i would say performing and as well being involved it is the right expression that I was searching for into more happier and exhilarating activities um, that are to happen in between you and your person of interest, in between you and your partner, or in generally, if you are single, you are to attend to more exhilarating experiences that are to attract other people. And therefore, here at the topic itself points at the you are to understand, realize, find out or see that actually the current uh, situation that you are finding yourself at is not as bad as you think it is. It is not as, um, how can I say it, disappointing, that being said. If you have suffered any losses recently in regards to love and relationship, you are to find out that those are just a, a temporary kind of losses, not a permanent one, and they definitely can be regained back again, whatever you have lost. Or the disappointments are not that severe of a disappointment and easily can be swallowed and etc. etc. So love and relationship wise for you, Cancer, it looks like that the week it is a week where you are stepping back on your feet if, uh, if you will, regaining back on an emotional satisfaction and stability towards your person of interest, towards your partner, and in general. Now, the next card here, it is what are the challenges? And we do have an individual. Now, I don't know how this individual is going to play out a, a role for you, so I'm just going to describe it as the king of wands. Now, this individual craves for challenges. 
right? He does not want the things to go on easy. I mean, this is the one who believes that if you, um, if something is way too easy to be taken, then it isn't worth it. So if that's your person of interest, then your person of interest expects you to be challenging for him, all right? Or, you know, if that's a third party in there, then it takes as a, a it takes your relationship as a challenge and is trying to overcome that challenge one way or another. But uh, in the grand scheme of things, the King of Wands is a person who is driven solo, uh, solely by its ambition. And that's the challenge for you to become their ambition. Additionally to that, um, that's a person who likes to enjoy life and so it could be challenging for you to be versatile. I mean, they, they really like versatility into one's behavior <clears throat> and uh, that as well could be challenging for you to present them with new things all day long. Now, the other card here represents the gifts and the blessings and that is the Eight of Cups. So the gift and the blessing in regards to uh, relationship and love with the eight of cups it's a second chances okay if you mess something up you will have a second chance to fix it or to make up for it not to do the same thing once again but a second chance to make up for it okay so it's it's not like you are going to you will uh, fall into this uh, situation throughout the week where you do something stupid you know and it is over just because you have done something stupid once again you will have a time to fix it in case uh, <clears throat> you mess the things up somewhere along the way. And uh, the Eight of Cups as well uh, as the gifts and blessings is the gift of clamor in regards to emotional satisfaction that even if right now, you know, the situation is not as um, fulfilling and perfect as you want it to be, it will get there, okay? That's the gift and the blessing as long as you don't waver from it or you don't abandon it. So how people were seeing you, Cancer, how your person of interest is seeing you, how your partner is seeing you, okay, how your friends and family are seeing you. We do have the Six of Swords and that is a bit of a, uh, they're seeing you as a bit of a um, hectic in a sense of that, um, let me kind of like collect my words so I explain it in a way that you don't freak out. It's because, the, well, the Six of Swords, it's a, a point where one is uh, going through a certain transition in attempt to improve one's circumstances. And therefore, uh, people around you, your person of interest or your partner, friends and family are seeing you as a such person who is determined to cross certain thresholds or certain lines, certain boundaries, so can improve one's circumstances. Therefore, here with the Six of Swords, it's uh, likely that you are to be more active or people to expect from you to be more active in the term of resolving issues, disagreements, disputes, and in generally uniting two parties under the common goal, which the two parties are gonna be you and your person of interest or you and your partner and so on and so forth. Now, the next card here, it is uh, what is going to help your long-term goal. And that is the Nine of Cups. So Nine of Cups, uh, it's, it's pretty, pretty much speaks for itself. Now, the card points that uh, what is happening into you throughout this week is going to be the, um, the thing that is going to make your life fulfillments or kind of like wishes coming true and these kind of stuff. But with the Nine of Cups, it is like the the grace of the faith it is laying upon you. And uh, it's with those activities, endeavors of these people that you are to surround yourself throughout this week, you are to feel yourself pretty emotionally satisfied. But you should not take these things for granted. Now, I I want to explain you the Nine of Cups. While Nine of Cups means love and emotional satisfaction, you know, and like I said, wish fulfillment and, and um, a fullness of life and these kind of stuff, it's short term, unless some actions or some, you know, performance is not made 
in order to secure it so it can be transformed into a long term of such. Okay, so you do have what to do and you should not stop your efforts toward my point here it is that you should not stop your efforts toward your person of interest or toward your partner regardless if you are feeling satisfied at that particular moment and the other card here is what is going to hurt your long-term goal we do have the star card and in this particular case cancer star card the star card speaks for a high ideals and unyielding standards, pretty much a demands and expectations that no one can fulfill. So therefore you have to leave uh, when you are expecting something from your person of interest or from your partner, you also need to consider that things not always happen the way we want them to happen. And therefore you need to leave a room for mistake and as well, or you have to leave a room for mistake and as well a room for forgiveness. Once again, the unrealistic and very high ideals and high standards that you are imposing in there are those who can hurt your long-term relationship and love goal. And the final card, it is the guidance that Taro is offering to you, Cancer, in regards to love and relationship. We do have the Nine of Wands. And Nine of Wands as a guidance in this case, it only says that the time has come to make a bondage in between the two individuals, okay? So it kind of urges you to be more active physically and in case this is just an interaction to approach with attempt for a uh, bigger interaction. Of course, the Nine of Wands also speaks for a bit of a uh, rearrangements what i mean is that probably you will have to rearrange certain things into your behavior and into your code of conduit into your daily routine if you will if you want to keep on growing into that relationship that but that will come on its own accord it's just what you need to do here is draw from the experience from your past relationships or from the time that have passed into this current relationship and uh, analyze the things that went wrong why they have went wrong and what you can do to prevent that thing to happen once again. So that being said, Cancer, this was your weekly love and relationship tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And um, in case you do want to get in touch with me to schedule a personal reading, you can check out the description down below. There you're going to find the link to my website and you can do that from there. And uh, we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.